Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some massive lag going on on your iPhone. So what lag is, is essentially if you're scrolling through your iPhone and you notice that it's glitching all over the place, maybe you're opening up applications and there's just a bunch of lag, a bunch of speed decreases and different things like that. Now typically one of the main reasons why this may be happening is if you're on a faulty version of software. So what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe you installed a version of software that's a beta or it's like the first version of software that came out. So what you would want to do is you want to go make your way over to your settings application like this. You want to scroll down until you see general and then you want to go and click on software update, which is right there. And you want to see if there is a software update available for your phone. Now, it's not a guarantee, but a majority of the time there may be an update already available. So you want to go ahead and click download and install and you want to install this specific update. Like I mentioned, this is just one way to fix this problem. And pretty much any time I've had a problem like this before, simply updating the iPhone may actually end up fixing the problem. Now, let's say you come here and there's no software update. Like for me, there's no software update at all. Well, what I'd recommend doing is hopping out of all of the applications you're currently on. So going into multitasking, however you do it on your phone, swiping out of there. And then what you want to do is you want to restart your iPhone. So the process for these notched iPhones, volume up in the power button. If you have a home button iPhone, just hold it on the side. And then you want to slide to power off your iPhone. So what this is going to do is it's going to fully turn off your device. And all you're going to want to do at that point is turn your iPhone back on. So you can hold down the power button again to turn your iPhone on. Once you come back into the home screen, swipe up, and you want to see if those problems are still persisting. If those problems are gone or it doesn't look like it's happening anymore, then you're pretty much good to go. Now, if for some reason you have a really old iPhone, like you have an iPhone that's like from like 2011 or something, your iPhone is going to be slow no matter what. It's going to be laggy and all that stuff. So there's really not much you can do to fix that specific thing. But another thing you can do if you have a newer iPhone and for some reason it's still glitching up is you can make your way over to your settings application. You can go down into notifications right here and you want to see how many apps are actually sending you notifications. If you have a bunch of applications that are sending you notifications, you may want to click into those applications and you may want to limit the notifications that are coming through. So it's not every single one of these apps, but you know, you can kind of turn off some of these notifications coming through. On top of that, what you can do is limit how many apps are having access to your background app refresh. So you can click click on your general settings here. You want to click on background app refresh, which is right here. And you want to turn off any of these applications that you may not even need, like things like, you know, Siri, shortcuts, whatever other these ones are, Netflix. If you don't want any notifications, if you don't want these apps basically using anything in the background, you don't want to be notified of them, you might as well turn them off here. And that's another easy way to limit some apps that are kind of going around in the background, utilizing some more resources from your phone. Now, another thing you can do is make sure you're not on low power mode. So as long as this little battery icon is not yellow, then you should be good to go for the most part. And at this point, you should be good. Now, if for some reason there's still a lot of glitchiness going on, I would probably recommend contacting Apple and having them take a look at your iPhone because most of the time it's a software issue. If not, it may be a hardware issue and you may have to get your iPhone fixed at that point. So that's pretty much it. That's how to fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.